whether you're new to growing succulents or a seasoned pro, there will come a time when you'll encounter mealybugs. They're white, soft-bodied insects, mushy and red like blood when squashed, and they hide their eggs in fluffy, cotton-like, marshmallowy, white excretion, and they suck on your precious, beautiful succulents. If kept in check, your succulents will go to succulent heaven. Or will they? In this video, I would like to share with you the reason why I love mealybugs sometimes. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. This is my Colorata Linceana. This is actually one of the two that I initially bought. And this one is growing healthily. So it's got one plant, the main plant or the mother plant, and now it's got a baby. See, got the little baby there, and I think there should still be one on the other side. Now you tell me how many is there, hang on. I haven't seen this, so is that one or two? So two, maybe I'm gonna inspect this underneath. Nothing, just dry leaves. And that one there, dry leaves. So this one is a very strong plant. It doesn't get attacked by mealybugs, so I haven't had any problems with it. Although in saying that, the baby here, I can see some white. Uh, uh, okay. See that part there? That's signs of mealybug. I think the mealybug just tried to uh, mark it. So it's been marked. So anything that's been marked, I always check the following day just to make sure that the mealybug doesn't get to it. So this is one of the two. This is my other Colorata Linceana. This was the one that got attacked by mealybug. And what happened, it had a central plant like the other one, of course. So this is number two, say for example, the other one was number one. So Colorata linseyana one is healthy. Colorata linseyana two was attacked by mealybug and also root rotted. But when it root rotted, it started growing again. So from the base of the plant, okay, um, it, so it died, uh, root rotted like something like this, got attacked by mealybug. And of course, if there's mealybugs, so that white stuff there on the tip, and so now they try and eat it and then we had rain and of course it rotted. So I'll just take this all off so you can see. So that's plant, that the tip of the plant that's gone. So anything that's sort of dark like that, there's no more hope for that one, but that one too, they're all dead, dead. You can't grow babies from that. But when it initially got attacked by mealybug and root rotted, I was able to save it on time and I got a whole heap of leaves from it and I will show you later on what those babies look like now because they've grown. So from this one plant, I've got many leaves that I've grown successfully and this one now, it grew again and put out all these babies. So these are now babies and then now this has rooted so I just pulled it off from there. See that fresh, uh, so that came off from there, so I'll just put this up here. And then another one I pulled off from the other side. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, anyway, from there somewhere. So now these are still healthy plants, but you can see that the dark spots there on the tip. Uh, that's okay, I can see a little tiny mealybug sort of running over there, mini, 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 anyway. So this one, I'm separating this and I'm going to spray this uh, with my special spray, I'm gonna to talk to you about that later on. But then this one now, if I just leave this as is, that's just gonna to continue to rot. So you can see that. There are just some plants that just the mealybug just loves, don't know why. So it's got nothing to do with uh, how you water them or don't water them, whatever you spray in them. Some plants are just weak and some plants are strong. So this is a good demonstration of uh, same plant, I bought them at the same plant, uh, same time and I assumed that they were grown at the same time and they were put in the same soil and although one is more out in the open and this one was in the open as well 
this was supposed to be my mother plant, which I'm going to harvest and everything. But anyway, the mealybug got to it and then root rotted. So now this one now, I have to remove this as well. Because that whole thing, see, look. See, so that, that one is already dead. So, but this one, I'm still going to be able to save it. And you can see, look at the mealybug. Look at that. See, look at that. See those white fluff there? Okay, I'm going to pull it off. Okay, so that one. That is mealybug. I'm going to squash it just to show you. Hang on. There you go. So it's got mealybug inside. So now this one, I'll put it away. Okay, that will still grow, provided I clean it up and treat it before I put it away and let the baby grow. So, hang on, just keeps falling off. I'm going to put you more here. Okay. That one's dead, dead, all of that dead. Most of this got to be thrown away. But this one's now, see that one there? Again, that's showing mealybug happening there. They're having a party. Look. I'm going to pull some up. Oops. Okay, I can see one sort of running around, but anyway. But that, uh, we're not going to waste time on that. We just pulled the whole thing off. Okay. Make sure, see, more mealybug underneath. And that one, just break that off. There you go. So the mother, that's all gone. So this whole plant, I'm just going to throw them out um, and save this one. So from one plant, so mealy, uh, mealybug, sorry, Colorado linseyana, F.A. linseyana, number two, was able to put out one, two, three, four, five babies now I've got from it. And I'll just leave that there for now. And I'll take you to the other root, I mean the leaves that I've grown from it. So, and this is now my baby Colorata F.A. linseyana. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven so far that's left here. I already got two as well that I've given away to someone. And then that one did not take and that one did not take. So, uh, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, fourteen. So, from one plant that uh, got attacked by mealybug, I've got fourteen plants in the span of twelve months. So, one year. One year, I've got fourteen plants from one plant, and so far, the other one, I only got two. This is sometimes the reason why I love mealybug. Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. This one has got another mealybug there. See, look at that. So we better treat that. Okay, I'm going to go get my special thing to treat that. So after we have a case of mealybug and root rot, what leaves can I keep and what can I throw away? So anything that's sort of rotted like this one's, you can see it's translucent. That is not going to grow, so even that one, we throw it away. This one, you'd think that would still be a healthy leaf. It's not because of the tip. It's already gone. So once it's blackened like that, that is not going to grow a baby. Anything that, all of this get thrown away. Throw all of that away. That one, okay, if that part is intact and all the way through the leaves down to the bottom here, it all looks sort of the same like that sort of solid, then you can keep it and that might still grow. So I tend to keep those ones, but in this case, this one now, that's got some translucency. So that's just all, see, you see the water as you squeeze it, as I squeeze it. So that's not going to grow anymore, so we throw it away. So we'll see what else. So all of these are gone. Those ones, see all the mealybug. See the mealybug infestation. They're all that white, fluffy, cottony things. That's all mealybug. So we throw it in the bin or rubbish. This one, it's sort of 50-50. So this one, I still give it a chance. Uh, that it might grow because um, although that's black, that might still have a chance of growing. So I still give it a chance, but chances are that's going to rot away. Oh, look, so there's already black things on it. That's no good. No good. 
This one might be good. See, look, nice, healthy. Nothing, no mark, no mealybug. So put it away into the growing part. Okay, so that one we just run our fingers through just to make sure there's no mealybug. So another two more uh, probable growers. That one's no good. Hang on, I dropped it. Okay, so you get the whole idea. So out of this lot, that one, see, it's got a red tip. That might still grow. So I got a few here now, and then see this one now. Look, that one is actually growing. Uh, it's got some roots. Look, see the roots coming out. So hopefully that will grow some pups as well. So these are the leaves that I've collected. So what I like to do is take some methylated spirits. So just put a little bit here. Hang on. I just turn it on. So just a tiny bit. And I will dip the ends because that's where the mealybug was. So just dip the ends here, just put it over here to dry. Okay, so even on the table, we just leave it there. So those ones, that's uh, got some roots growing. Dip it in there because I can see a little bit of trace of mealybug, just to be sure that you're not bringing in some mealybug. So you get the idea so even that one so there's I think one mealybug floating so that would kill them and if you leave it for about 10 minutes basically till the methylated spirit dries up you rinse it off with water so but anyway so you get the idea and so now this one's now we are going to so we'll pretend that it's ready um, dried up. So now that's nice and dry and what I do is uh, spray it with water. So I'm gonna spray the whole thing with water and then I'm just gonna put this away and let it dry up. So I've got uh, tissue so I'm gonna put my leaves to dry up there And I'll even put the label and put it away and wait for it to grow. So I'll put it somewhere where it's, uh, there's no direct sunlight hitting it. So with these big plants now, what I like to do with these ones is before I let them dry up and put it in the soil. See this one, I'm just inspecting. So that's still good. It looks like... It's going to die, but it's not. So that one is still good, basically. Oh, look, I, I pulled off a root, but it doesn't matter. So you can see the root. It's also got some little traces of mealybug, so a little fluffy. There you go. So, and there'll be some mealybug all through that there as well. So again, what I like to do is just pull off the bottom leaves. See? Uh, you can't see the mealybug sometimes, so you think there's nothing there. But see, that one, I suspect that could be a mealybug but it's not but then still if I just dip this in methylated spirit before I put it away to grow so that's basically what I do so I'm gonna pull a couple more off and if I can feel some resistance then I don't pull it off but see another bit of mealybug there that bit there so that's also mealybug so again uh, I'm gonna spray this with methylated spirit more millibugs. So look, look, millibug infestation at corner there. So just spray it. And once the millibug um, get hit by the methylated spirit, it kills them instantly. And then of course I'm going to leave this for 10 minutes into my drying rack here so just leave it there for 10 minutes and this one's ready getting um, so all through that 
I can pull them off, leave it there, and let that dry up, and say, look, mealybug infestation, see? So pull them off, that throw them away, see, look. The mealybug, the minute they get hit, look what happens to them. That just, okay, so that just goes to show you, look at that, it just melts away. It strips the white coating and the mealybug itself, it just disintegrates and look inside. See the mealybug there that already got hit because it's in the bottom here? Look what happened to it. That is one big mealybug now that is just going to die. So that one still looks like intact, but that's already dead. See, look at that. So that one is just all gone soft as well. So that's what happens to them when they get hit by the methylated spirit. And then once it dries off like this, see that's already dried off, you can see that it's getting hit by me, uh, by the metho that's being affected. So if you leave it, what's going to happen to that is going to go black. So I will show you some plants that I've sprayed directly with 100% methylated spirit and they um, sort of burn a little bit but this one now what you do is spray it with water then I can be guaranteed that mealybug's dead so we just let that dry up this one's already dry as well so which means once it dries up the mealybug's dead we spray it with water and just let that dry up my thing is not very big we'll go reverse the other way there you go and this one's as well, after cleaning it, remove all of that leaves in the bottom because we can grow that. There you go, that still looks pretty. And water again. We let that dry up. So this one, pull that off. That's good enough. So are the mealybugs dead here? Yep, no more mealybug. And there you go. Put this one with my leaves. And this lot now, I just quickly rinse it with water. And there you go. So these are what's left of the leaves that I propagated. So three months on, if you don't put them in the soil, they just uh, grow and have roots <laughs> and dry up. And that's really, and then now this one's even having aphids. Look at that. See, so if you just leave them there. Oh, that one's nice. Hang on. Look. See, so... And the ones that I've actually taken out and put on the soil over here, look at that. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? And that one too. And that one too. And that one too. And the other ones, the bigger plants are much, much bigger now, but... Uh, uh, take my word for it, they have been uh, growing successfully. It's just raining outside, I couldn't go outside. Look at that. So look at the babies. So I got more babies. So that's F.A. Linsayana, Colorata. And so I've got, so all up, 16, 17, 18. So 18. Um, oh, that one, 19. Oh, there's a couple more here. So these two as well are... Colorata Efelinsiana, look at that. So that's the biggest, the biggest, the biggest one out of that lot from the leaf that we propagated. This is now three months ago. So three months growth. This is what's left of my Colorata Efelinsiana cuttings. I've already given a couple of them away. And look at them, they're even flowering. And the area that was affected by the mealybug that was chewed on, those are the dark spots. But the center, you can see the center, it's perfectly formed. And 
definitely no mealy bug. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? And the other one, that's also flowering, but there's still two babies. Have you got more babies? No, that's all you've got. You've gone bigger though, but see, it's still the same plant. So that's three months later. This is the reason why I love mealybug sometimes. This is my Cheveria PVN that I sprayed with 100% methylated spirit. It killed the mealybug, but it turned my poor baby plants into black. But that's uh, gonna grow out of it anyway. But then mealybugs are dead. But uh, this other one here, so even that one, so just three of them one, two, and three. So they're all went black but they're still okay. So in time, they will recover. And this is the same plant. This is my compact form uh, PVN. I sprayed it and uh, a couple of hours later, well, I sprayed it with methylated spirit and a couple of hours later, I rinsed it and all the mealybugs are dead. Uh, it had some a uh, slight darkening on the edges there so but all the mealybugs are dead so it's important that you spray it with water afterwards so i would suggest spray some methylated spirit and let it dry up so it'll only take about a couple of minutes really for five minutes at the most you can rinse it off with water and you're guaranteed that it's not going to burn your plant but in saying that so this is pvn Echeveria PVN. I have an Echeveria shamrock here, which I did the same thing. So I spray this with 100% methylated spirit. There's a couple of mealybugs in it, but it wasn't really all that bad, the infestation. So I've cleaned up inside as well. So you can see some, there's still a couple of dry leaves there, but the mealybug was hiding in there. So I sprayed the whole thing. I doused it with methylated spirit and you can still see some white on the tips of the plant that's still the methylated spirit and this one I haven't rinsed it so it actually smells really nice so anyway and it did not burn it so there you go I torture my plants so you don't have to so but still I would advise that after it dries up it's still best that uh, you rinse it off with water. So this is now Echeveria lilacina sprayed with 100% methylated spirit. There's actually no mealybug on that one, but I just want to see how it's going to react, if it's going to get affected. We can see that it did not get affected at all. So you can see traces of the, the methylated spirit, but the plant is still perfect. This is another one that got attacked by mealybug. This is a crested Echeveria briar rose. There's no mealybugs anymore, they're all dead. So there you go.